Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. There's a new Mini in town, and it has a petrol engine, and it wears the John Cooper Works badge. It's the new Countryman JCW. I guess the only thing we need to probably start off by saying is, it's not very Mini. It's more maxi, really, but I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. So welcome to the Lakes by You, um, a beautiful backdrop. I've just driven around this venue looking for a cool backdrop to do my filming and I found one. It's a little bit precarious though, so I'll try not to back this car into the lake. But today for me is a very exciting day and the first of many I hope this year with Mini. It's a big year for Mini this year. They've got lots of cars coming to market, the new Mini Electric Cooper. But for me, this one, this one will be right up many of your street because this is not an electric car. This is a petrol car. Underneath there is a two liter, four cylinder, turbocharged engine with about 300 horsepower, four wheel drive, and it's wearing a John Cooper Works badge. Now I'm sure many of you know I'm a huge Mini fan. I have my JCW Roadster that I've done lots of videos on recently, but up until a year or two ago, I also had a JCW Clubman, which I love to bit, absolutely fantastic car. And I've spent quite a bit of time in Countryman's as well. Now I joked at the beginning of this video about the size of this car, not really being very mini anymore, but I think we just need to get over ourselves. The modern mini has been around a very long time and there are classic minis and there are modern minis. You can love them both, okay? The modern mini, clearly you've got the hatch, a three door and five door variants. Then you went to Roadster and Coupe when they made those. Then they had Clubman. And when Countryman came along, a mid-sized SUV that has the bigger form factor, more practicality, but still the mini DNA and still that go-kart feel drive hopefully. So this car has so many things to talk about. I've spent very little time with it so far. I've not really seen one up close and personal until today. And straight away, little things like, I was handed the key and the key is just awesome, okay? It's just, it's amazing how many premium brand cars you have that have horrible keys. The key, the key fob, just makes you think, oh, this is a bit different. This is different to minis of the past. And then you look on the inside and there are details um, from the key fob that you see on the inside of the car. So let me walk you around the car, show you some of the really nice styling cues inside and out, and then we will take you for a drive. We are in the Cotswold and there are some amazing roads nearby. But first up, I wanna talk about the front end of the car. So front end styling. This is the first time I've really had time to be close to this car and look at the details. And the more time you spend with it, the more details you see, and for me, the more I like them. I guess striking features are headlights have that um, daytime running light um, all the way around the outside. And then this front grille with the checkered flag motif either uh, just here, I guess, where all the sensors are, and just here. And then I love these little dimples in the bonnet there, they're a bit 911 GT3. <laughs> Bear with me on that one, but I really do think they are. And then you've got this kind of little power bulge in the bonnet. And what I like about that, so this color is called Legend Gray with the red roof and red mirror caps. I am a stripes kind of guy, so I think this would look awesome with a couple of skunk stripes down the center. But front up, very cool. And also the new John Cooper Works badge. Now, I am a bit of a stickler, a, a bit of a traditionalist, and I love the old John Cooper Works badge. And when I first saw that on the internet a few months ago now, I wasn't really sure. And I think it's one of those things you need to see it in the context of it on a car. That rear three quarter angle, in fact, the rear view is, it's very different from the old Countryman. And I like it a great deal. It had, has nods of, new Range Rover for me, but also just, there's little things. I like the way that the roof kind of has this, this spoiler that comes out above the rear window, nice rear wiper, big countryman lettering. There's an argument whether you might de, 
letter that. I might take them off. You've got the JCW logo there, which looks really, really cool. Four exit exhaust, which if I remember rightly in the Countryman was just a two exit exhaust. That looks really very, very smart. And then round just here, I'll try not to fall in. You've got that little red panel with again, JCW and all four badging on there. I just think that looks very, very smart indeed. And then just from a boot space point of view, it is massive in here, loads of room to put your stuff. It's quite high up here, but there's also a false floor. So you've got underfloor storage. So I think just practicality wise, boot space is way bigger than my old Clubman and bigger than the standard size Mini. So that mid-size SUV is ticking lots and lots of boxes. But I do like the rear view. I think it looks very, very smart indeed. Kind of like this car already. Oh! <laughs> Got to do me rear seat test. Now, it's not, it's not giganormous in here, but there's plenty of room. I, I have to say this so many times. This seat is, is all the way back for me as a driver, but there's still enough room in here for a, a normal person. But as soon as you sit in this car, you start to see details, or at least I do, that make me really excited. There's the, this bit here, that's a nod to the design on the back of the key. You've got a use of different materials. So you've got leather, but you've also got some kind of nice material in here. This strip here is again, a little bit of a nod on the key. This car's been spec with a pan roof. I'll tell you more about the spec and the price when we jump in the front. And then I love these door handles in this kind of brushed metal finish. And then it's the, the door cards and the dash. This is this material here. It's like a really thick, um, I don't even know how to describe it, but it's a, it's um, a cloth material, not a leatherette type material. And it just feels great. And it's almost got like a two-tone color. It's, it's, it's black and then it's got this hint of red. And on the main dash, it looks absolutely mega. So yeah, I really, really like <laughs> the rear. Front's even better though. You know, for me, there is something that warms my soul when I sit in a car that has a great interior, that has different, funky, stylish things to look at and touch. And this is right up there. Now, I have sat in the new Mini Cooper and seen this screen before, but I haven't been able to put anything on the internet because it was all before launches and so on. Uh, so first up, this main central screen, Yes, it's a nod to the original Mini with the central display and then Gen 1, 2 and 3 Minis all had that round central display. And it is all touch screen. And it's just a nice difference to not have a kind of iPad shaped touch screen. And it's different in the way that it's formatted. It's not just like that. It, it's, it's a round, it's like a clock face and you can kind of just go around things. It's just very, very cool. And I've, I've not spent a huge amount of time yet with it, but I like it a lot. It just looks ace. And there's this little assistant called Spike that can help you out. You've then got some real buttons down here. Um, so you've got um, the, your, I'm not so sure, I, I just moaned about this in another car recently, the gear selector there, little twist start stop for the engine. And then you've got your wireless charge mat, but then it's these things, this, this little box here, this cubby hole with this little kind of canvas type strap, this detailing on the dash, these air vents are lovely, really nice feel to them, but it's the steering wheel. So it's a bit fat, especially here where you've got your hands and this bit, I'd like it a little bit thinner, but it's a really funky design. And then this bottom spoke here isn't a solid spoke. It's like a, it's almost like a towing strop, um, but in the same colorways as you find on the dash and you've got the new John Cooper works badge just here. And then ahead of you, your main thing is you've got your uh, head up display with your speed and so on. And just, it's just really, really very cool. These seats look nice as well. Leather at the bottom, um, cloth at the top. I, yeah. <laughs> it, I'm so pleased because uh, the, the, the mini stuff that's happened in the last two or three years have really been special editions of existing cars. 
The last new Mini launch I went to, I think, was probably Mini Clubman, actually, in 2019, when they bought out the 306 horsepower JCW all-wheel drive Clubman that I ended up buying. Um, it could be dangerous, this one. So let's very briefly just have a look. So this car, um, in terms of price point, I need to put my goggles on for this one, I'm afraid. Sorry, bear with me one moment. Um, oh. <laughs> Tell a dog and I've got a poo bag in my pocket. Um, so a base price for the Countryman JCW is £39,900. And then this particular car has £5,800 worth of options. Or should I say an option because it has an optional pack. So that makes this car I'm sat in £40,700. Which if I'd have said that three or four years ago, it would have been how much for a Mini? But I remember my Mini GP3 was going to be just shy of 40 grand. So actually, with the inflation we've seen in car prices, I don't think that's too bad. But it does have the um, a special pack on it, which is a level three pack at 5,200 quid, which is the JCW Performance Pack. It's got the glass roof. Um, it's got active seat for the driver, electric memory seats. Um, it's got parking assistant plus um, and, and a few other features. So that... That's quite a big pack to have on it to make uh, to make that car or this car the money it is. And then before we go driving, just a little bit in terms of size. I've mentioned it's quite a big car, so it's uh, just over two meters wide and 4.4 meters long, 1.6 meters high, uh, and unladen weight is 1,735 kilos. Okay, um, it's got just under 300 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque, and will dispatch the 0 to 62 sprint in 5.4 seconds with an average fuel consumption quoted WLTP cycle of 35.3 mpg. There's plenty to go and explore with that. So let's go and explore the Cotswolds in this new Countryman JCW. But safe to say, so far, I really like it. I re I'm in the interior. I really like it. Okay, <laughs> I got a mini smile on people because I've been driving this car, oh man, 10, 15 minutes. I thought I'd come out, I'd drive it for half an hour before I put my cameras on just to get a feel for it. And I literally 10 minutes in, I'm like, I've got to turn the cameras on and start talking about this car because there's just so much to talk about. So first up, um, it's so nice to be in a new car, press drive, that is a petrol car. Um, and also a car that just gives me so many vibes from my old Clubman. It's just got a fantastic, a fantastic seating position. And the one thing that is taking a bit of getting used to, I guess, is where the various information feeds are for you. So you've got a head-up display and that's got speed and uh, current speed limit and rev and gear and the things you would want to know. And also I've got a sat nav running and I've got a sat nav indicator on the heads up display. So you can get everything from there. And then you've got this big central display um, and that, that's quite funky. Now there are a number of experiences and there's this little toggle switch just in the center there. So if I just toggle experiences, I'm gonna put it into go-kart. Listen to this, ready? because uh, that means we're going to have some fun and then it turns into that display which is just so cool um, so you can have that and it, it's probably a bit busy you have fuel that side revs that side speed in the middle sat nav right in the middle um, speed speed display and then rpm and fuel so it's got multiple things all showing but i just think it looks amazing and then if i just hit, click the map it will it will go back to a map display now and have my sat nav but i just really like that depending on the kind of mood you're in depends on how you want that central screen set up visibility is really really good these door mirrors are quite big actually so they give a really nice view and then it's just it just feels special it has a really solid feeling to the car but the best bit is when the road opens up a little bit and you can depress the throttle and you can tap into that mini driving experience because that that's just mega and the roads on this route that they've given us are just brilliant i'm going to just put the auto box into sport change and then 
I've got a nice bit of road ahead. Pulls like a train, pulls like a train. It's obviously quite a big car, but 300 brake is plenty enough to get this car going down the road. And as soon as it gets up to speed, it just has a really nice feel to it. The steering is quite light, but I remember that from my Clubman. It's almost like the car's pulling itself away and it's just a little bit light on its toes. Almost a little bit torque steery, really. But then that is a bit of a mini trait, a mini characteristic. It's dealing with the road surface really well. The ride quality is, is nice. Sometimes JCWs have a bit of a harsh ride, but actually this one feels fantastic. And when you get a great bit of road and you can just open her up a bit. Oh, welcome back, Mini. I've missed you. I really have missed you, but you can go to the paddles if you want uh, and change yourself. Let me just go into a manual change. And the gear change is, is pretty crisp and pretty slick. And this road, wow, the mini press team clearly booked that venue for a reason because it's surrounded by some of the best bits of road. Harry Metcalf's hunting ground. Oh boy. <laughs> oh dear, this car's naughty. Really naughty. And I think that's the clever trick it's pulled. It's it's a big format car and most of the comments I've seen online about it so far is negative comments about its size. And outside it is a big car. There's no doubting it. There's no doubting it. And to wear a mini badge and be this car for some of you is too much. But when you're in it, it, it's got a nice spacious feeling on the inside. But the clever trick it pulls off is it doesn't drive like a big car. It really doesn't. It has this nimble, agile, and I'm gonna be really, really boring and say that cliche, the mini marketing, go-kart feel, people, go-kart feel. And when you hit a National 60, all you wanna do steering just slightly lightening up and then you just chuck it into a corner look at that <laughs> mega absolutely mega now one of the things i want to try and demonstrate is the sat nav has augmented reality and it's really very cool so when you come up to the next junction or the next turning, normally sat nav, you'll just have an arrow appear or the map will zoom in. What this does is it's got a forward facing camera. And as you approach the junction, the forward facing camera um, shows the road and then the augmented reality overlays an arrow, there we go, and an indicator on the road. So I can now see um, where I'm coming down this this uh, street here, um, it's got a little width indicator showing how wide my car is and then the little arrow. And as we get to a right-hand turning up at the end, I've now got a little right-hand turning appear showing me, but watch as we get closer, um, there's now a little chevron just pointing to the right. And as I get closer and closer to this beautiful, I mean, don't you just love the Cotswolds? Absolutely stunning little bridge going over a river. But as we come over here now, you'll see the arrow turning, and then you'll see that going, the chevron appears, and I drive through the chevron, and then I come along the road, and I'm now back onto the main bit of road as we come along. Then it goes back up to the map, uh, and then I've got some roadworks here, but that, that's really very cool. You, so there we go, you can see it's doing the same thing again. I've got a junction coming up. You might think it a bit distracting, but I think you just get used to it. But I think it's that extra bit of confirmation when you're not quite sure where you're going. See the chevrons now pointing me round to the left, the little arrows indicating where the car needs to be. And then I open up into some nice countryside uh, and I can now start to um, explore the road. My next turning's not for another 8.3 miles. 
but I love that. That's a very, very cool piece of tech. Just a little bit of torque steer on the acceleration, but I don't mind that, because it just, just makes you have to pay a little bit of attention. <laughs> now the road is great, but sadly the weather isn't. We just got some drizzle in the air, which makes filming a little bit tricky. But man, is this car a hoot to drive. It really has that mini feel. That's all you want, right? If you're a mini fan and you drive a mini and you love the feel of driving a mini, that's the thing that gets us hooked. That's that intangible thing that makes us love the modern mini. And it does hark back to the classic mini, whether you love it or not. I know you people think, oh, you can't even compare the two in a sentence, but they both have that, that darty, agile, sporty, alive feel to them. And even though this car is a big format, mid-size SUV, still has a mini feel, and it sounds ace as well. The little pops on upshift. And it gathers, it doesn't half gather speed. <laughs> I tell you, you can, you can find yourself doing some speed. Now for me, I'd actually not bother with the paddles. The sport shift is good enough to, it's almost intuitive enough to change down for you to get you in the right gear. And the four wheel drive system gives you the confidence to get on the gas when you want to and, and exploit all of that power. It's a brilliant thing. There's not a great deal I'm, I'm not that keen on, to be honest. I had a feeling, I had a feeling it, it would be. It's, it's little things. I'm not a fan of the gear selector. I'd much rather have a proper gear stick, but that frees up this space in the middle. But the, to, you know, my final thoughts of the car, I love the external styling. I think the rear view is fantastic. I love the four exhausts, the front end with the kind of checkered flag um, theme running through it. I like the lights, the little dimples on the front of the bonnet, the power bulge. All of those external cues I like very, very much. But it's the interior. It just, they've knocked it out of the park for me. This interior is so different from other things out there, from the choice of materials. This material on the top of the door and on the dash is just, it's great. The middle circular screen, I think it's a bit busy in some of the screens, some of the experiences, but on the whole, I think it looks really cool. Love the steering wheel, little bit fat for me, but I'll forgive it that. But the way this car drives, all you want to do when you see a nice bit of road like this, here's me trying to do a sensible final piece to camera, and I've got this amazing bit of road, fantastic tarmac, such an unusual treat in the UK. Look at this. And all you want to do is attack the road, is, is just push on and explore this car. And it just gives you this massive grin on your face. It makes your day, no matter how bad a day you've had at work, if you owned one of these and you had a drive home that had anything like this kind of road on it, you'd get home feeling better. You'd forget your work day and all your troubles. Pleasant. And you'd just, you'd just want to get in it again. You'd want to drive it again. I'd love to spend more time in this car. Price point wise, 45K as spec'd. I know that's a lot of money. For a Mini, that's a lot of money. But actually, in, in the mad world we live in, it's about right, I think. Spec-wise, feel-wise, fit and finish-wise, performance-wise, you get a lot of car for that money. So actually, I'm, I, I think it's probably about right. But come on, guys. Lots of you love Minis. Put in the comments below, what do you think of the new JCW Countryman? I think you... I've been trying to hide my feelings. I think you might have guessed that I quite like it, but I'd love to know what you think. But anyway, if you've enjoyed that one as much as me, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I'm gonna have a chat with Mini to see if I can get one of these for a week or two to spend some time in because I really would like to put it to the petrol pen test. Have the dogs in the back, get the bikes in the back, go on a long journey, do all the things that I've done with all my minis before. Because I think this would just be a satin. Anyway, see you on the next film.
guys, you take care. Drive safe.